hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel support desk tv today i'm going to show you how to create a windows 11 virtual machine on your physical machine for this we're going to use the vmware workstation tool so for this to work you need to have the vmware workstation tool installed and running on your physical machine so let's go right ahead and uh, start the configurations so on your hyper v go ahead and create a new machine for us we're going to use the custom installation and go ahead and click on next So on this part you can just go right ahead and click on next so we're going to pick our ios file later so go ahead and click on next on this uh, part we need to pick our windows version in our case it's a windows 11 64 bit so once that's done go ahead and click on next so here guys you actually need to give it a name and a location select a location to store it so in my case i'm going to put it on the local disk c then create a folder and i'm just going to give it a name like a, a windows 11 virtual machine so guys you can go ahead and give it any name you will any any name you like so once done once that is done go ahead and click ok and next so this is the tpm encryption so what 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 this does is that uh, it's just going to encrypt your hard drive so you're just going to encrypt only the file that uh, require the tpm go ahead and type in a password then click on next so for this we're going to check the U U U EFI and uh, check the secure boot button there and go ahead and click on next um, I'm going to give it a total of four processors I'm guessing that should be enough then go ahead and click on next so we're going to allocate the memory in my case uh, on my physical machine I have a uh, around uh, 16 GB of uh, memory so on my virtual machine um, I'm going to allocate it uh, around 8 GB of memory that should be enough now guys this majorly depends on your physical machine in allocation of memory so once that's done just go ahead and click on next so yeah we're going to use the NAT yeah let's just use the recommended yeah we're going to create a virtual disk i'm just going to use the default 64 gb so right here you can give it a name we'll just go ahead and click on next and uh, then uh, go right ahead and uh, click on finish so once that's done uh, we need to select our ios file before we power on our virtual machine so we're going to go to settings the setting part we take the cd slash dvd then we use the ios image file 
So you can select it. In my case, it's on an external hard drive. So once that's done, just go ahead and click OK. Then you can go right ahead and power on your virtual machine. So it's going to boot from uh, the iOS file. Uh, if we got a demo, don't worry, just wait for the boot menu to appear. So here we are. Select the DVD slash CD. And there we go, guys. Installation has begun. So guys, this is just a basic uh, Windows 11 installation. So you can also use this tutorial as a reference on how to install Windows 11 on a physical machine. Just go ahead and pick a, I don't have a product key, but you, in real sense, you really need to actually activate it. So you'll need a product key, uh, Windows 11 Pro, that's what we're going with. And then click on next, accept the license term agreements. Go ahead and click on next, uh, custom install. That's our hard drive there. Go ahead and click on next. We just have to give it a bit of time. And uh, there we go, guys. The basic installation of Windows 11, just follow the steps. Now we need to bypass this, so hold the uh, Shift key plus F10. It's going to take you to the terminal. And uh, type in the command that you see on your screen there. O O P E. Word slash bypass N R O. Then click enter. So I could select our region, the keyboard layout, I don't have internet, continue with the limited setup, uh, give your PC a name, in my case uh, it's uh, support desk TV, and go ahead and click on next, uh, enter our password, next, confirm the password, uh, oh alright, the security question, so in my case I'm just going to give uh, everything my city name, Nairobi so once that's done it's uh, just leave it uh, 
give it and uh, wait to complete it to complete the installation usually it takes a few minutes yeah guys and there we go of our windows 11 virtual machine you can go right ahead and confirm the specs you can you can also go right ahead and uh, run some updates As I told you, you need to activate it since it's a machine, it's an actual virtual machine. So, guys, uh, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. That's it for today. Bye, guys. I'm hoping to see you back next week. Goodbye.